gamelan refers to both the traditional Indonesian percussion symphony and the collections of musical instruments it utilizes. The word gamelan comes from the Javanese word gamel, which means to hit or to handle. Gamelan instruments normally consist of gongs, gambang, drums, cymbals, strings, instruments, and bamboo flutes, the majority of which are beautiful hand-forged metal percussion instruments. Gamelan music sticks to a certain tuning, arrangement, rhythmic, metric patterns, and performing approaches. Gamelan music is composed of many layers at its foundations is a fundamental melody known as the balungan. In certain cases, other layers such as the singing in vocal compositions develop upon this melody. But the notes of each layer of music is linked to the balungan and typically coincide at the conclusions of the phrase called seleh in Japanese. There is also a collection of instruments that outline a colotomic structure, typically concluding with the biggest gong. The music is often performed at a religious rites, ceremonies, traditional theatres, festivals, and concerts by men, women, and children of all ages. It is also employed in music therapy and is considered as a technique of self-expression and connecting individuals to the universe. There is a Javanese proverb that states, it's not official until the gong is hung, in reference to the ritual importance of gamelan. Some performances are linked with royalty like Yogyakarta Sultan visits. Gamelan Sekaten, which is used to sell to celebrate Maulat Nabi is linked with particular rites. In Bali, practically all religious events incorporate gamelan performance. Gamelan is frequently utilized in Indonesian Catholic Church rituals. Certain works are assigned as openers and closures for performance and ceremonies. When a living piece such as Udan Mas is played, the audience will understand that the event is nearing its conclusion and will begin to go. Some pieces are considered to have magical properties and can be utilized to fend off bad spirits. Gamelan is still passed on from one generation to the next via informal and formal educations, including school and extracurricular activities. Gamelan is a fundamental component of Indonesian identity that dates back centuries. Relief carvings from the 8th century's Borobudur temple provide archaeological evidence of the practice. Gamelan incorporates aspects from several domains, including oral traditions and expressions, performing arts, rituals and festive occasions, and knowledge and practices pertaining to nature and the universe. The domain of oral traditions and expressions includes a vast array of spoken forms such as proverbs, riddles, stories, legends, myths, epic songs and poetry, uh, charms, prayers, chants, songs and dramatic performance and these expressions and oral traditions exist in Gamelan. Gamelan is also included in the category of performing arts. The domains of the performing arts span from vocal and instrument music, dance and theatre to pantomime and beyond. They consist of various cultural manifestations that show human creativity and may also be found in a variety of different sectors of intangible cultural assets. The Indonesian Ministry of Education and Culture acknowledge Gamelan traditions as part of the country's national intangible cultural heritage in 2014. Meanwhile, Gamelan was added to the UNESCO representative list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity on December 15, 2021. The submission focuses on the archaeological connections to the Borobudur, 
and promoting a feeling of national identity and pride as well as mental health, interpersonal skills development and the relationship between its cosmology and an ethic of mutual respect and care. Regarding the protections of the intangible cultural heritage, I believe it is excellent that UNESCO has taken the effort to do so. Without conservation, the intangible heritage would be destroyed and irretrievable over time. It is essential that our future generations see, understand and experience their own historical culture.